Continuing with Luke 8, 49. While he yet spake, there cometh one from the ruler of the synagogue's house, the ruler of the synagogue's house, saying to him, Thy daughter is dead, trouble not the master. But Jesus heard it, and he answered him, saying, Fear not, believe only, and she shall be made whole. And when he came into the house, he suffered no man to go in, save Peter and James and John, Peter and James and John, and the father of the mother of the maiden. All wept and bewailed her, and he said, Weep not, she is not dead, but sleepeth. You see, the Messiah makes a difference here between death, being dead, and sleeping. <clears throat> and they laughed him to scorn. They laughed at him. Did he care? Did he take offense when they laughed at him? They laughed him to scorn, knowing that she was dead. Jesus said, She is not dead, but sleepeth. Fear not. Believe only. And they laughed him to scorn, knowing. Isn't this an interesting situation? This diametrical opposition. Knowing. And believing. And he put them all out and took her by the hand and called, saying, Maid, arise. And her spirit came again, and she rose straight away, and he commanded to give her meat. And her parents were astonished, but he charged them that they should tell no man what was done. Then he called his twelve disciples together and gave them power and authority over all devils to cure diseases. And he sent them to preach the kingdom of God and to heal the sick. And he said unto them, Take nothing for your journey, neither staves nor scrip, neither bread nor money, neither have two coats apiece. Whatsoever house ye enter into, there abide and thence depart. Whosoever will not receive you, when you go out of that city, shake off the dust from your feet as a testimony against them. Whosoever shall not receive you, shake off the dust from your feet as a testimony against them. Now Herod, the Tetrarch of Israel and Judah, heard of all that was done by him, and he was perplexed because that it was said of some that John was risen from the dead, and of some that Elijah had appeared, and of some that, and of others, <clears throat> that one of the old prophets was risen again. And Herod said, John I have beheaded, but who is this of whom I hear such things? And he desired to see him. And the apostles, when they were returned, told him all that they had done. And he took them and went aside privately into a desert place belonging to the city called Bethsaida. And the people, when they knew it, followed him. And he received them and spake unto them of the kingdom of God and healed them that had need of healing. We all have need of healing. Heart, mind, soul, spirit, body. And when the day began to wear away, <clears throat> then came the twelve and said unto him, Send the multitude away, that they may go into the towns and country round about and lodge and get victuals, for we are here in a desert place. Then said he unto them, Give ye them to eat. And they said, We have no more but five loaves and two fishes, except we should go and buy meat for all these people. For they were about five thousand men. And he said to his disciples, Make them sit down by fifties in a company. And they did so. And they made them all sit down. And he took the five loaves and the two fishes. And looking up to heaven, he blessed them and brake. And gave the disciples to sit before the multitude. And they did eat and were all filled. And there was taken up of fragments 
that remained to them twelve baskets. Five loaves, two fishes, five thousand men, not including women and children, and the fragments were twelve baskets. Oh, I'm getting a signal here that I need to change my battery. <clears throat>